Well, the full indictment has been released. All the paperwork's been released from Takashi 69 and uh, new details also. Takashi 69, uh, ref- they picked him up, where well, they informed him on Friday what was going on after the Breakfast Club interview that, you know, his life was in jeopardy. Uh, his old team was plotting to harm him. Uh, he refused to go into custody and uh, be protected and refuse to snitch okay so that's very important so he's a stand-up guy so far okay he refused to snitch on anybody even though they probably played him recordings of them their wiretaps how did they know well they they tapped everybody else you know uh, probably shoddy i'm not saying shoddy is the one that's uh, I'm there was other people in the indictment that were plotting against him in his downfall uh and they he agreed to put up his whole bank account he uh so everyone's bank account was exposed uh shoddy had 60k in his account takashi had 1.7 million dollars in his bank account and they refused all that for bail he was going to give them every dollar for bail and they still said no uh and they, he was even going to give up his passport so uh anyways uh, let's get into this uh, paperwork. Uh, this is George Tower JT News. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. Okay, so we got Takashi69. Uh, this paperwork got released. Um, it's the whole thing. It's uh, So the guys are... Mel Murder is in this the, from, from Bird Gang. Okay, so Jamel Jones, uh, Kafano Jordan, Shadi. That's uh, Shadi Genzel Butler-ish. Is that now? Is that uh, uh, Joe Budden ish? That Joe Budden always talks about ish on his podcast. That's that's interesting. Daniel Hernandez, Takashi Six Nine, uh, Faguan Lavik, Fu Banga. That's Fu Banga, and then uh, Fareem Waka is Crippy. I think that's the one that used to be with Fifty Sound. I'm not sure, but uh, it's the United States of America versus. All these guys. Okay, so uh, count one is uh, racketeering conspiracy. Jones, Jordan, Butler, Hernandez, and Walter. Uh, the Enterprise. I love how they write these things. It's like some big super story. It's probably elaborated, but uh, at all times relevant to this indictment, Jamel Jones, Mel Murder, Cafino, uh, Genzel Butler, Ish. You know, all these people. Uh, others known and unknown were members and associates of Nine Trey Gangsta Bloods. A criminal organization whose members and associates engaged in, among other activities, acts involving murder, robbery, narcotics, and trafficking. Nine Trey operated in and around Manhattan, the Bronx, Brooklyn, and New York. Uh, part two, Nine Trey, including the leadership, its membership, and associates, constituted an enterprise as defined by Title 18. Um, is a group of individuals associated, in fact, although not legal entity. The enterprise constituted an ongoing organization whose members functioned as a continuing unit for a common purpose of achieving the objectives of the enterprise. I feel like I'm reading a textbook. At all times relevant to this indictment, the enterprise was engaged in and its activities affected interstate and foreign commerce. Jamel Jones, Mel Murder, Cafino Jordan, yeah, all the, they name all the people. The defendants participated in the operation and management of the enterprise, participated in unlawful and other activity in further furtherance of the conduct of the enterprise affairs. Three, members and associates of Nine Trey engaged in a series of violent disputes with rivals of Nine Trey, including who's within Nine Trey, who they deem disloyal to the enterprise. During these disputes, members and associates of Nine Trey committed multiple shootings, robberies, assaults against their rivals, against fellow Nine Trey members. Part four, members and associates of Nine Trey sold heroin, fentanyl, fury, uh, all this stuff, uh, MDMA. They named like every drug, okay? <laughs> uh, in, in the whole New York area, Bro- uh, Manhattan, Brooklyn, Bronx, New York. Members and associates of Nine Trey committed and agreed, attempted, and threatened to commit violence to protect and expand their narcotics business to protect fellow members and associates of the enterprise. These acts of violence include acts involving murder, robbery, extortion, and assault, intended either to protect the enterprise of narcotic business, retaliate against members of rival gangs who had encroached on the. Bi- this is like a movie. 
rival gangs standing in reputation of nine trade members. Purposes of the Enterprise. The purpose of the Enterprise included the following. Preserving and protecting the power, territory, and profits of the Enterprise through acts involving murder, violence, and threats of violence. Promoting and enhancing the Enterprise in activities and its members and associates. Keeping victims and potential victims in fear of the Enterprise and its members and associates through acts and threats of violence. Providing assistance to members and associates who committed crimes for the behalf of the gang. Enriching members and associates of the Enterprise through, among other things, robbery and distribution of sale of narcotics, including heroin, fentanyl, fentanyl, all this stuff. Uh, protecting the enterprise and its members and associates from detection and prosecution by law enforcement authorities through acts of intimidation and violence against potential witnesses of crimes committed by the enterprise. See, okay, I'm going to tell you something. I, I just thought about something. We keep seeing, we kept seeing um, Takashi 69 beating court and letting him out. When that happens... You usually have a federal investigation on you. Uh, you can tell when someone keeps getting away with stuff. I, I, I'm not going to name a rapper's name, but I see a rapper who uh, we're just seeing. We're just seeing federal indictments coming down on a, to a rapper rival that's been going on for the past couple years. And I guarantee you, and and, and I'm, I don't mean to sound negative. This is just how the government works. When you say, like, geez, they're not arresting anybody. They're building a, a federal case against you. And that's what's scary. Uh, Big Meech knew this was happening. That's why he started doing the smack. I mean, this is why I assume he was doing smack DVD and everything. He was moving, trying to move into a legal business before he knew they were building a case against him for the, for a couple of years. Um, okay, so then let's continue with this. Means and methods of the enterprise. Among the means employed by the members and associates in participating in conduct of affairs of the enterprise, the following members and associates of the enter enterprise committed, conspired, attempted to threaten to commit acts of violence. Okay, they keep repeating this. Uh, members and associates of the enterprise used threats of violence. Okay, we know that. Uh, members and associates of the enterprise committed, conspired, attempted, and threatened to commit acts of violence to other individuals in the enterprise. Members and associates of the enterprise promoted and celebrated criminal conduct of the enterprise on social media. This is why you do not put any of your business on social media. They use it against you in court. Members and associates of the enterprise distributed controlled substances. Okay. Racketeering conspiracy. From at least or in about 2013 up to including in or about November 2018 in Southern District of New York and elsewhere. Mel Murder, Cafino Jordan, a.k.a. Shaddy, Genzel Butler, and Daniel Hernandez, Fareem Walker, Crippy, the defendants and other known and unknown being persons employed by and associated with the enterprise described in paragraphs 1 through 7 of the indictment, namely 9 Trey, which enterprise engaged in in activities which affected interstate foreign commerce, not only combined conspired confederate... <laughs> naming all these words I feel like I'm talking to T.I. or something and agreed together with each other to violate racketeering laws in the United States to which section 1962 title 18 United States code that is to conduct participate directly and indirectly in the conduct of affairs man they, they could wrap this up in two pages honestly now do we believe that they repeat everything that I just read to you? You know, all the, the, they intimidated people to this. Okay, so it's like, do we believe that Takashi 69 headed up this whole thing since 2013? That would have been five years ago. I think he's 22. He would have been 17, right? I don't think so. I don't think he would have enough respect at 17 to run a whole thing like this. And I don't think he would have been sleeping on his mom's closet like he says up until a year ago if if he was doing all this stuff right if you're distributing this amount of product <laughs> and you're sleeping in your mom's closet uh yeah you're doing the wrong job so then it says uh count two firearms offense racketeering conspiracy uh from in or at least 2013 up to including 2008 uh, november 2018 uh, connection with robbery on about April 3rd, 2018 in vicinity of West 40th Street and 8th Avenue 
uh, three, let's see, counts three through five of this indictment. All for all people, uh, and in relation to a crime. That was, was this when Trippy Red got robbed? Mmm. April, May. Is this when Trippy Red got robbed? And then Trippy, so is Trippy Red turning people in? The defendants during the retaliation to a crime of violence with a prosecutor in the court of the United States for acting conspiracy. Uh, did possess fire. Is this Trippy Red that they're talking about right here? I, someone do some research on that. When did Trippy Red uh, have that altercation in the hotel with some of Six Nines people? Because this could be that incident. I might have happened earlier than that, though. It might have happened like February, but I'm not sure. Then it says uh, carry firearms, did possess firearms, and did abet and use carrying possession of firearms through which Brandis and discharged. Count three, violent crime aid racketeering, April 3rd, 2018. Uh, at all times during this diamond nine tray is described paragraphs one through seven, counted this indictment, reported and cooperated. Da, da, da. Let me get to the good part of you. They keep repeating the whole indictment in each section. That's why it's so long. Pay a thing of primary value to nine tray and for gaining entrance and maintaining increase increased position to in so was this was this the Barclays incident or was this the incident with uh it's not really saying but they say this is in Manhattan, so but I know the I know the there's another section in here where it's tied to the Barclays incident too. Uh, where, you know, supposedly a firearm went off, but nobody got arrested. This is on, this is on, others agreed to rob at gunpoint rivals of Nine Trey in the vicinity of 40th Street and 8th Avenue. So that's definitely not Barclays. Barclays is in Brooklyn. Uh, this has to be that incident. Because this is not the incident where the, the uh, outside of the hotel that happened recently. Here's another one. Violent crime in Aiden Racketeering, April 21st, 2018. Love it. It says, uh, Nine Trey describes paragraph one through seven of this indictment. Let's see which one incident th this took place at. Uh, Lovick fired a gunshot at rivals of Nine Trey and uh, encountering them at the Barclay Center. This is that one. So this happened at the end of April. This is the Barclays incident, count seven, firearms offense. Uh, April 21st, this is the same thing, but discharging a firearm in public, count eight. Uh, this has to do with July 16th, 2018. Um, this one took place in the result at Fulton Street, in the vicinity of Fulton Street in Utica Avenue in Brooklyn. In now, was this when was this when they had the problem with Casanova, or did that get squashed at that point already? I can't remember. But I remember there was an altercation, and then, the, the, oh yeah, 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 there was that footage of Shadi running from the Suburban that was on social media, and they were trying to arrest him for that. That might have been that incident. I don't know. Then there's another forfeiture allegation as count one. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Crippy United States. I think this is the same part of this. Oh, uh, this is distribute. This is detailing distribution of drugs, and this includes everyone in this one. Like, I don't think Takashi Six Nine had anything to do with that, honestly. Um. So, the question is here. They're going to put that pressure on Six Nine and try to get him to flip. Um. But if he has a good lawyer. He could probably cut this down a lot, but we know he's going to go back to jail no matter what because he has that other case where the judge let him go because she said that, um, she said, you know, she let him go, but if he does violate or get in trouble with the law, they were going to lock him up again. That was to do with that other case with the, the girl in a video and he got charged with something for that. I don't know, guys. We'll have to see what happens here. But uh, as far as I know, this is done for information. We're not going to get any more information to probably... With the feds, with no bail or anything, we still don't know what's happening to Rollo. And we have no updates on AR app. I think they just let you sit there forever. I mean, look... 
tax stone's still in there on federal indictment right, from two years ago, right? So they arrested him six months after the fact. Been there almost a year and a half, right? No updates. So hey, that's how it is. You don't want to get in trouble with the feds. Bottom line. Anyways, guys, this is Jordan Tower JT News. Hit that thumbs up button. Hope you uh, got some more clarity on this situation. I know I did. And I'll check you guys later. Hopefully, uh, hopefully um, he can get home to his family, 6 9 All right.